MTD CNC have travelled up north to Keithley and we're visiting Yorkshire Precision Engineering Limited. But today is all about how the youth are taking over. Here at Yorkshire Precision Engineering we make an array of components uh, for the oil and gas, medical, pharmaceutical uh, industry. Our main focus is we've got 11 star lathes, um, we've got quite a large capacity and our main focus really is quality and really dragging down cycle times to as low as we can. Yeah I know so. that um, time is of the essence here and you're counting down to the seconds on every part aren't you? Yeah yeah it's a bit of a competition between me and my brother <laughs> and um, yeah, really, we use the star layers, are brilliant for knocking down cycle time, for things you can do with your, on the machines, with the live tool, and it's just fantastic, really. Yeah. Well, we'll get onto the stars in just a moment. I want to know about yeah. you and your company, because it all started back in 2001, didn't it, with your father? So my dad founded the company in 2001, and my mum had a bookkeeping business, and he got a loan and got the first machine, and it was kind of, here we go, you know, you've got to get work, you've got to get it out the door, and... Yeah. Yeah, luckily we got a couple of jobs through, ringing around people, and we kind of went from there. And then my mum came and joined the business. And within three years, we bought three star sliding head machines. And our first machine was a star sliding head because my dad loved them so much. Um, and we've learned really through the many years of this that we've kind of been pushing. You've it, so. grown. What are one of your first and earliest memories of being at the company when you were younger? Uh, we're probably playing football with my brother. Um, yeah, we used to kick the ball about everywhere. We knocked a, a tray of components off. It was stacked up and my dad went absolutely nuts, to be honest. Yeah. Literally? Yeah, I think a lot of them were scrap, which I'd go nuts, to be fair, if I had two kids doing the same, but yeah. So Linda and Mick are slowly taking a step back from the business and Jack and Sam have huge plans for the future. Uh, well, we want to grow. We want to push it to sort of that next level. What my dad and my mum have achieved over the years is kind of is quite remarkable, and we're quite proud of it. Really, everything uh, everything's been a focus on quality, and really getting things down to seconds, knocking seconds off your cycles. And our vision really is to eventually maybe double in size over the years and grow, but steady growth as well, and kind of push it to that next level. Maybe get some more complex machines and go from there. Okay, and what's the capacity of parts that you're making? That was great timing because the part just fell through off the conveyor. But what's the capacity of parts and the sizes? Uh, yeah, well, we do anything from down. We've done stuff at 0.5mm uh, to like 50 millimeter long, which is really annoyingly hard. But um, <laughs> it's, it's quite all right. We've got a lot of different techniques that we've picked up over the years. And we go anything up from 0.5 to 30 millimetres really, 32 mils, the biggest machine of the sliding heads that we can do, but on our fixed heads we've got to 65 mil bar and then 300 mil diameter billets as well. So we've and got the materials? Quite large, uh, we do an array of stuff, it's not just aluminium and brass here, we cut 316 stainless, ink canals, titanium, super duplex, but we really take anything on and we want to challenge ourselves. Like I say, it is a competition between me and Jack to see I know, I, I want it, when you said about a competition, yeah. I kind of want to get into that. So what areas of the business are you working, Sam, and then what areas are Jack covering? Uh, we, we kind of overlap a little, to be honest. We kind of cover each other's areas. Uh, I do a lot of the running of the day-to-day -day parts and making sure that things are hitting targets, um, setting up of machines, helping people through, you know, giving a little bit of training here and there, programming, planning jobs, quoting. My brother does a lot of the same as well, but more on the programming side. Yeah. Uh, my brother's brilliant at programming. I'm Jack, I'm the uh, technical engineer here, and uh, I kind of try and look after the programming and the proving out of new jobs uh, to make sure things run smoothly. I hear there's a little bit of competition with your brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, we, we bounce off each other quite a lot, but I think Sam likes to think that he's the, uh, the better one, but we all know that the engineering comes from the programming, and I think that's, I think that's where the skill is. We, we've learned a lot from each other. I learned a lot from my dad, and I, I find that quite, uh, you know, enjoyable. I've, um, I've always enjoyed making things right, right through school and things like that. And just, I get the satisfaction from the job, seeing something come through from the beginning to an end product. Uh, you know, that, that's where I get my buzz from. And what do you pride yourselves on here at Yorkshire Precision? I think, I think the, the thing that we can say is our precision. Uh, it, says it, on the, it says it on the door but uh, the precision is the main thing that we pride ourselves in. And also, the, the batch work that we can do, we can make things, massive batches to high precision work, 
you know, the machines run all day and all night when you, when you set them right. And, and that's what I think we do best. What are you impressed by with the Star Machines? The Star Machines, I mean, how, uh, how you can get so many moving parts inside such a small space is quite, uh, you know, it's, it's daunting at times, but I mean, it's impressive to keep things that quick and that um, precise. You made some parts for Rolls-Royce as part of the ventilator yeah. challenge, but what was it that surprised you? Yeah, well, we were coming in day and night, me and my brother working side by side. We had the parts on the SR20J, which we call the 25, because we've got five SR20Js, and on the 32J around there, and on the SV as well, we ended up putting on three different machines. Um, so I was coming in during the day, and then one night Jack would come in through the night, and then I'd come in, and then he'd come in through the day, and I'd come in through the night, and we did that. And then we eventually got to the point where the parts were coming off pretty much perfect so we ended up knocking it down and not coming in so much on the night because every night we're coming in we're like oh yeah oh they're, they're, they're great perfect spot on and these were tight tolerances that yeah. we were working to so they're, yeah brilliant <laughs> star have been such a huge part of their journey from day one and speaking to them they can certainly see star is going to be the future for them too yeah they're fantastic solid machines can hold the tightest tolerance. I've never known any machine to be able to do anything like it, to be honest. And you were, you've worked, obviously, over the years with Star. How have they supported you? Yeah, well, that's the main reason that we kind of have started with Star. My dad loved the service and the support with Star, and that's never faltered over the years at all. You know, as some companies get bigger, you know, your service can drop, but Star's is, is really on point. Like at the start of the ventilator challenge on the SR25, um, we had a slightly larger bar than 20 mil and a guy from Star drove the part up immediately the next day so we could get running on this machine and that's the kind of service that you get, you know, it's, it's fantastic.